What's up guys, Devin here from American Aquarium. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to go over a email that was sent in to us that I thought was an interesting question. So let's go ahead and take a look at this email that was sent. And it says, it says I'm a, a forum leader at a popular forum here on the internet. We noticed that you have some of the old Aquatronics line of medications for sale. We used these back out in the 1970s and 80s, in particular Merix. Since then, we've done a lot of work with chloroquine. And my question is, is, do you expect to continue to have it? What is it great for? And uh, if you could help us get a source for it. Okay, so we appreciated this question here at American Aquarium. We do have some history going back to the 70s as well using Merix, which is a chloroquine. Uh, chloroquine, sulfate-based drugs. It has been a very successful fish treatment for some time. Uh, going back to the 70s, Carl Strohmeyer, our founder, had great success with this particular blend of chloroquine. And here in our medications on the screen, you can take a look here, it says Aquarium Medications Part 2 Chloroquine Sulfate and goes into the history of why we think it's great, what it was used for. We also give a disclaimer not to use fish medications for human consumption. Okay, so we're going to step back just a second and say what is Merix. Merix is a colorless antibiotic blend of chloroquine phosphate and some pyrithamine. Pyrithamine, if you guys, you might have heard before, but it's in, uh, it's in natural, more natural, safe uh, insecticide. This was the first effective substitute for marine udidium instead of having to use copper, which is neat. Merix is an effective colorless aid in aquarium for treatment of prevention of marine odinium related to Brooknellia as well as Chilodella in freshwater, fish that are sensitive to copper, marine ick, cryptocarrion. Merix is a copper substitute and unlike copper may be safely overdosed in difficult cases as a preventative. But here's a, a warning, avoid using it in the presence of invertebrates. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to uh, what Carl Stromeyer, the founder of American Aquarium, the resident disease expert, has to say of the medication. And this can also be found on Medications Part 2, his written work. Here we go, let's tune in. And Maris in particular, he feels is one of their better products, in fact, better than just straight chloroquine. I found the pup in there, but pyrethamine is a natural, um, I believe it comes from a tree in Africa, I can't remember, but it's a natural insecticide. Right. It's used in a lot of flea things that are, very, that are organic and because it affects the nervous system of lower invertebrates, but not dogs, cats, and not fish. Of course, it does your shrimp and all that, so you don't use it. But then merit chloroquine can't be used with shrimp and all that anyway, so this is strictly a non-reef. All right, guys, I hope that was somewhat informational for you. The use of chloroquine for parasites, other things, the effectiveness, and how this medication has been tried and true for a long time now and has now been making it its way back onto the market because of its effectiveness. Oh, if you guys like this video, please put it in the comments below. Let me know and I'll do more format, more videos in this type of format. I'm trying to figure out the new YouTube, uh, how it's going to look and feel for 2020. Also, know here at American Aquarium, we appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you for your support. And um, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.